All right, all right, all right. Settle down, settle down. Welcome to Bra 101. I am your lecturer, Mrs. Shimmy, S-H-I-M-M-Y. Thank you, thank you. Put your phones down. No chatting on social media. This is my house. My house. Let me lay down the ground rules. Number one, you will pay attention. Speaking of attention, you will register in the comment section. Raise your hand and say aye so I know that you were in attendance. Rule number two, you do not need all of the bras that are going to be mentioned in today's session. You only need the ones that work for your unique, specific lifestyle and boobies. Right. Number three, you will share this with a friend. You will click on the share button. You will share it on your Twitter or on your Facebook or you'll take a screenshot and put it on Insta Greasy and you will tag me Z at Kopano Shimange. All right, those are the rules for today's session. Do not leave without giving this a big thumbs up. Let's get started. Just and welcome to my channel. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is how I do things. A show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it, my darlings. You know why? Because I, me, ek, moi, I am not a professional. I'm not a professional at all. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Honey, today we are talking about the support of our life. Some people call these bra cages, you know, boob cages, cages for the boobs that sometimes you need to just let them go and emancipate the breastages. However, many of us need them when you want to walk, when you want to run, we do not want to be there just jiggling. It hurts, it's uncomfortable. We need them for different stages of our lives when we do different things. Bras are also there to just accentuate the goodness. I've got a very small cup size, so without a bra, I am non-existent. Whereas on the other hand, you may have a larger set of sisters and they need the support for you, your front, your back for display and sometimes just so you can wear your outfit the way that you want it to be worn. It can accentuate the silhouette, it can help you to achieve a look that you want if you have the right bra with you. Now this can easily become a series because right now all I'm telling you is a type of cups that you may get in a bra. I can still talk about how to support for different sizes, what bra to wear when, all of those things may still come, but I don't know if you want it. You have to comment down below to let me know, but let's not waste any time because there's about like 12, 13, maybe 14 different types of cups in terms of bras that we need to talk about, so let's get into it. Number one is the triangle bra, also known as the bralette. This is the classic bra it has no wire and no padding it is just fabric over the boobies there's a strap at the bottom and a triangle over the boobs and then you have the strap that goes over the shoulder super classic bra you wear this it's super easy to buy usually made out of cotton and lace or interchangeable between the two sometimes people take a full bralette that is made only out of lace and they wear that under suit jackets or they wear it with high waist shirts you uh, high waist pants you can do that with a bralette it's a classic classic bra bra and it's also one of the most affordable bras that you can find. Number two is the push-up bra which is the complete opposite of a bralette or a triangle bra. It has padding at the bottom. This is my favorite because you know me, small cuppies, we love push-up bras. It has padding specifically at the bottom of the bra to push the breastuses up, all right? This is a sister to your cleavage bra because it has padding at the bottom but on the sides. So push-up pushes up. It also has wire underneath the cup. So it's got quite a defined cup. It's got a wire underneath and then it's got padding at the bottom, quite thick to push the boobies upwards so they can be seen, so they can be like, what's up? Number three is the demi bra. The demi bra is a horizontally set bra that has a wire underneath. Cups are set slightly wide apart from each other and they just stay underneath. So they don't cup inwards, they cup upwards completely. And it has a wide strap on the sides which just holds the horizontal shape of the bra. So these ones have cups that are just horizontally set, pushing up, 
not sideways in any way this is a very simple bra to wear that you may want to wear underneath like a, a denim top that you might have very easy to wear extremely light it doesn't do a lot for a specific look but if you do have anything above a full B then it is nice to just hold your sisters upwards especially if you have any sort of horizontal neckline on whatever it is that you are wearing number four is the plunge bra this is one that you wear with anything that has a deep neck right anything that scoops nice and low but you do need your boobs to be held up so it will cup your entire sisters however it will plunge down and meet at a very low point of your chest so that it comes together so sometimes these bras may have a clip in the front so that it plunges low but it brings your bre your breasts together or it may strap at the back a lot of the times these have removable straps and they may be adhesive as well number five is the balsanet bra I love the name but it is quite the typical bra that you find a lot of the times this has under wiring and will meet so the wires of the two bras will meet in the center okay the second thing is that it is a low cut demi bra what that means is that it's a horizontally set cup slightly tilted just a little bit and it will basically have a horizontal set on your breast so it may scoop a little bit in the middle but it is it does have quite a high meeting point so this is not something that you would wear if you do have a deep neckline it is something that you wear if it is slight neck neckline it is a quite a typical bra it is one that you find quite often and the cups again are set horizontally and not necessarily to meet in the middle or to meet upwards number six is a full cup this is one for ladies who do have a fuller set of breasts i don't always wear full cups because they tend to show through my tops because i've got quite a small cup size so this will have under wiring be really supportive and cover the breast from the top from the bottom all the way to the top and cover all the way to the center as well this is really great for if you have a full bust and you just want to conceal your your breasts a little bit support them really well and wear something casual over and light over as well this covers everything doesn't push up so you won't have a lot of your breast showing outside of this bra it covers the whole situation number seven is the bando bra now this is just a band right a strap just that just goes over these can come in different ways it can just be literally no shape at all just a band over the breast or it can have a scoop in the shape so at the bottom it will be tight and will then have slight padding so that it is not necessarily super thin and will have a slight scoop this is nicely padded so it's nice and soft and sometimes may not have the under wiring in it but it is supportive it is one unit so you won't see any stitching or any seams in the bra so it's one band that doesn't have any stitching where the wire is or any of that nicely cushioned so it's extremely comfortable and unlike quite a lot of the strapless bras that you may find this one sits in place because it has a wide strap on the sides making it sit easier on the body sometimes you may find that it has something that looks like a little bit of sellotape or some rubber on the inside so it doesn't slide off the body now number eight is very similar to the bandeau this is the strapless bra this is specifically designed to be wear, worn without any straps just like the bandeau is the only difference between the bandeau and the strapless bra is that it has under wiring and specifically designed to look a lot like many of your normal bras and has a specific cup in it and it's made to be worn without the straps sometimes you can buy the bra with straps just in case you need it however this is designed with two cups and straps to hold it together the bando bra has a band around it strapless bras are cups that meet in the middle and a strap around the body to hold it together the bando thick it may have a little bit of extra material at the bottom of the cup but with a strapless bra it's only the cup no extra fabric underneath and a thin strap that meets at the back 
Number nine is one of my favorites, which is the t-shirt bra. Every woman needs a t-shirt bra. Have you ever seen that you try to wear your bandeau bras or your push-up bras under a t-shirt? Then you can sometimes see the shape of the bra underneath. That is because it's not made to have that seamless look as the t-shirt bra is. A lot of a seamless and um, nude um, bras and underwear actually fall into the t-shirt bra category. This is made so that it is seamless. So between your chest and where the bra starts, there should be no bump that is created. So when you wear it under a t-shirt, the t-shirt flows beautifully without the top of the bra sticking out or standing out in any way. It won't usually have any patterns or lace on top because that means that it will show through the t-shirt as well. A t-shirt bra has beautiful support. It is usually thin and slightly padded but still thin. It has underwiring and the straps are thin and it's made so that you can have support under a t-shirt but you don't want anyone to see it under a t-shirt. It is amply named t-shirt bra for wearing t-shirts. Number 10 is the minimizer. Again for ladies who have a fuller bust. This is specifically made to cover the full bust. However, it is made to kind of contract, conceal and minimize your breasts. So if you have other bras like your full size bra may accentuate your breast. However, the minimizer is made to cover and to slightly push them down so that your breasts appear one to two inches smaller, which means about two centimeters down so that it feels a little flatter. So it kind of flattens out your bust as opposed to cupping them and giving them the round shape. The minimizer tries to bring them in a bit hold them together and conceal so that your breast seems slightly smaller. So if you do have a top or a dress that is a slightly big for slightly small for you in the bust area, you may get a minimizer that then holds it in and kind of distributes the breast in a way that it flattens it so that you are able to then wear something that is slightly snug at the top of your body. Number 11 is a detachable bra or a convertible bra, which means that it has several parts of the bra that come off. The straps come off, the straps may go cross, the straps may cross in the front or cross in the back. It can also have an extra patch that is placed at the back, which offers more support as well. I love these types of bras because you may actually like the cup, but the straps may not work in what you're specifically wearing. So if you may have a halter neck and you actually want to wear a specific type Type of bra then you may want to change how the straps sit so that you are able to then wear it with different types of bras it can also have a hook at the back now every bra has the place where it is adjustable and sometimes these bras may have a hook on the adjustable latch so that at the back of the bra you are able to hook it together to bring the straps closer together this is a highly convertible highly versatile bra and if you are the type of person who maybe not all your bras work all the time and you do need the cups in almost everything that you wear you may want to get bras that have convertible straps so that you have that versatility in your bra range number 11 is the sports bra this is one that offers support while you are running and doing any heavy activities this is supposed to hold your breasts in place as you're jumping around as opposed to them flying all over the place sometimes you may still have a bit of jump in your breasts when you are running or when you're doing exercise but the bra is is there to help your back and to support the weight and distribute it and hold it well so you do not get any injuries while you are running. Sometimes women think that sports bras aren't working because their breasts are still moving as they run. They may still move but they would give you the support especially for your back and for your chest area to make sure that you don't feel the weight and that you don't lean forward or that you don't lean back to try and distribute your own weight. So it's there for weight distribution. It is there to help you with that weight so it doesn't lay heavy on your body as you continue to exercise. Number 13 is the low line bra. This is one that has cups but will come to about midway to your waist. So it's almost like a, you know how long um, 
exercise bras are so your sports bras are this is one that is specifically supposed to be worn in a more formal setting but comes low so it's a long line bra so under the cup there'll still be some fabric that holds underneath this is amazing if you're going to be wearing any sort of dress that needs you to conceal and hide and also shape your body so this bra also helps to shape along with giving you that extra support because of that extra hug beneath the bra so number 13 is your built-in bra one that is built into a top a lot of the times that you can find that a sports bra is underneath a top so it's built into one so it's a two-in-one sometimes those really do help especially if you're exercising number 14 is your nursing bra it is a bra that is almost like a triangle bra sometimes may have a little bit of padding most of the times they don't but the top flap of the bra is detachable so you'll still have the strap underneath and the straps around the, the breast but the flap in the front comes out so that you can remove the breastuses and feed your little baby and then finally number 15 is the racer bra this is a casually worn bra however it looks kind of like a sports bra at the back it will have extra support and it will meet so these are like your jt ones that you would wear that offer you that support during the day kind of look like a sports bra but they're actual casual bras all right that was a mouthful that was a lot that was a lot to go through i tried to help you with the different types of bras but also how you would wear the different types of bras if you want to get into the must-have bras that every woman should have let me know in the comment section down below and if you struggle with specific types of bras knowing how it fits what cup size you're supposed to wear what does the 32 mean and what does the double d mean how do you know if a bra actually fits you the do's and don'ts of bras how are we supposed to wash these things and how often should we wear them before they go into the wash those are all very important questions which we can get into later in another episode if you want to see it so if you do comment section down below but until next time beautiful people thank you so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share it with a friend until next time i'm kopana shimangi and this is how i do things gorgeous thank you for making it right until the end of this video please do not leave without subscribing click on this button right here to subscribe and feel free to binge watch and head over to my website www.kopanishimangi.com to find out more about my journal her daily success journal and how you can get hold of this 90 day planned journal that will help you to focus on god achieve your goals and go to sleep with gratitude until later bye